Hello and welcome to this employer support video which will demonstrate an overview and tour of OneFile as it relates to the responsibilities and access an employer, manager or supervisor requires to fulfil their part in the successful completion of an apprentice's progress. It will include receiving your login details and logging in for the first time. A tour of the options on the home page menu, including tasks, messages, reports, resources, help center, and viewing an apprentice's one file portfolio. You will have been asked by our admin team for various information to create an account for both your company, if you are new to us, and yourself on one file. OneFile is the online software recognised by the awarding body and used to record various activities involved in the successful completion of an apprenticeship. The apprentice will receive assessments via OneFile which they will complete and upload documents to evidence that they understand the knowledge, skills and behaviour to meet the criteria for the qualification. You, as the manager or mentor of the apprentice, have your part to play in this process. In the main, you will be expected to attend monthly review meetings online, usually using Microsoft Teams. These are to help monitor progress and find solutions to any issues which may jeopardise the successful completion of your apprentice's course but also to assure you that they are progressing as expected and give you the opportunity to provide any support and encouragement that they require over the lengthy period of their apprenticeship. As part of this process, you will need to log into one file and sign the review along with the student to confirm that the notes taken and actions suggested are a true reflection of what was discussed in the meeting. In addition, you will have access to the student's portfolio so that you may review in person the work they have submitted for their assignments. When we create your account on OneFile, you will receive an email providing you with login details and a temporary password, which will need to be changed the first time you log in. In the email, select the Your Login Details for the link to OneFile login. The OneFile ePortfolio login screen is displayed in a new tab or window. Type or copy and paste the username from the email to the username or keychain field. Type or copy and paste the password from the email to the password field. Check that ePortfolio is selected from the login area pick list below the login button. Select the login button. The OneFile Terms and Conditions page is displayed. Read the OneFile Terms and Conditions page by scrolling down through the text. If you agree to the Terms and Conditions, select the I Agree button. The Change Your Password page is displayed. Read the password requirements. Your new password must contain between 10 and 128 characters, and at least three characters from the list below. A number, an uppercase character, a lowercase character, a special character. Type your new password and then retype your new password to confirm. Select the Save button. The Change Password Confirmation page is displayed stating that your password has been successfully changed and you have been logged out and will need to log in again. Select the Continue button. The OneFile login page is displayed once again. Re-enter your credentials using your new password and select the Login button. The OneFile home page is displayed. Your email address needs to be verified. You can follow the instructions on the screen to do this. For now, we're going to select Remind Me Later. Select the Remind Me Later button. The email verification window closes, displaying the OneFile homepage. On the left of the screen is a menu allowing you access to various sections of the system. 
It contains home, tasks, messages, reports, resources and help centre. The home option takes you to the page you are on now. The class pick list allows you to display students on a particular class your apprentices are taking. The learner allows you to select a particular student you have access to. Other options provide links to your profile, display settings, email preferences, my activity, user guides, read system announcements and change password pages. In the top right of the page are some icons that indicate the number of emails you have unread and the number of outstanding tasks you must complete along with a pop-out menu allowing you to set your status, access your profile and change the appearance of the interface. At the bottom of this list is the log out button. If you have opened the pop-out menu, click anywhere else on the page to close it. The pop-out menu closes. Select the Tasks option from the menu. The Tasks page is displayed. The Tasks page shows a list of outstanding or pending tasks. You can filter this list using the period and status pick list lists to show various time periods and completed and future planned tasks. From the menu on the left, select the Messages option. The Messages page is displayed. The Messages page shows messages from within the OneFile system. The Inbox shows messages to you and the Sent Messages button shows messages you have sent. On the right of the page are two pick lists, one filtering the messages by sender or recipient and one limiting the number of records or messages on the page. To create a new message, select the New Message button. The Send New Message page is displayed. I'm going to do that now. This system is quite rudimentary, but sufficient for basic communication. Select the To button and from the resulting list select one of your learners to whom you wish to send a message. The selected learner is moved from the left hand pane to the right hand To pane. You can remove a recipient by selecting their name in the To list and they will be moved back. You can also filter this list by group and class and in fact, should you wish, to choose an assessor or tutor from the list. When you have selected all the students you wish to send to, select the Done button at the bottom of the form. The selected recipients are added to the TUF field. There is a CC feature which works in exactly the same manner. Type a subject. Type the body of the email. You can add basic formatting using the message toolbar. Add any attachments you need to. We won't be covering this in this video, it's so rarely used. Select the Send button. The screen refreshes and displays the sent messages list, showing the email you have sent. To view the email, click the subject. You can delete messages by first selecting the checkbox next to the email you want to delete and then selecting the Submit button next to the Delete Selected pick list. From the menu on the left, select the Reports option. The Progress Reports page is displayed, showing various reporting options which will be covered in detail in a different video. From the menu on the left, select the Resources option. The Resources page is displayed showing various resources options which will be covered in detail in a different video. Finally, from the menu, select the Help Center option. The OneFile Help Center page opens in a new tab or window. From this page, you can search for help, browse guides and support, and view the video library and forums. 
Close the window by closing the tab. From the menu on the left, select the Home option. The home page is displayed and the initial tour is complete. So, let's see what happens when you select a learner and what you can see there. From the learner pick list, select Prentice Andrew Apprentice 10. Andrew Apprentice's portfolio is displayed showing his home page. This is the same view that Andrew will see when he views his portfolio. There's a lot of information here, and suffice to say, much of it will not be of interest to you at the moment. However, at the top of the page are Andrew's learning aims detailing the qualifications and supporting courses he is registered for. His overall progress, placements, learner status, and off-the-job hours, which should be 20% by the end of his qualification. Below this are some tiles giving access to assessment plans, assessments and reviews. Next are some tiles that show reports for activity, assessment evidence, a journal, mainly used to log off the job hours, tasks and timesheet, again used to log off the job hours. Next are details of Andrew's profile followed by a list of assessment plans. The lengthiest section is a list of the units Andrew is registered on with links to information about each. Finally, at the bottom of the page are sections detailing completed assessments, reviews, cancellations and experts and expert witnesses. One thing you may be interested in are your apprentice's assessments. From the portfolio, select the Assessments tile. The Assessments page is displayed. If your apprentice has no pending assessments, this page will be blank. To see completed assessments, you need to change the filter at the top right of the page. From the Show Pick List, select Completed. The page refreshes showing completed assessments. The table shows Date, Ref, Assessment Title, Method, Assessor Assessment Timesheet, Learner Assessment Time, Related Assessment Plan and Action Required. Select the assessment you want to view by clicking the assessment title. The assessment page is displayed. I expect the bit you'll want to see is the feedback from the assessor. To view feedback, scroll down the page to the Feedback and Comments section. Here you will see feedback from the assessor and attached file with details. Select the Feedback Sheet tile to open the document. The document is downloaded by your browser and can be opened from there. Scroll to the top of the page and from the breadcrumbs select the name of the apprentice to return to their portfolio view. The student portfolio is displayed. Finally, from the top right of the page select your name. A pop-out menu is displayed. From the bottom of the pop-out menu select Log Out. The one file Login page is displayed. That completes the one file overview, including receiving your login details and logging in for the first time, a tour of the options on the menu including tasks, messages, reports, resources and help centre, viewing an apprentice's one file portfolio and assessment feedback. In the next video we will be looking at participating in a monthly review and updating the various tasks that must be completed to fulfil the requirements of the awarding body in OneFile tasks. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you again on the next video. Mm -hmm.